A primary objective for the effects of this piece was to show a connection between the enemy characters and the storms. To help achieve that integration, real-time volumetric rendering methods were used that allowed us to keep all of the effects live and adjustable in UE4, rather than imported from an offline package. The storms and enemy effects were both rendered using a similar ray marching shader, but used different methods to generate the content itself. The storms had their shapes defined via procedural distance field layers that were animated using 3D flow maps. These flow maps were hand painted inside of virtual reality using custom blueprint tools. This allowed painting to be done using VR motion controllers, which felt more natural for the 3D volume compared to a mouse or stylus. The clouds were also animated to grow and spread by animating thresholds for the distance field layers. There were over 25 enemy death shots to animate in a very short time frame. For the enemy death effects, we wanted them to quickly dissipate into a material similar to the clouds. Simulations were done using a GPU-accelerated real-time Nevier Stokes-based fluid solver. Characters contributed their density as well as velocity into the simulations. These contributions could then be controlled by tracks and sequencer, which made it easy for final tweaks to be made. In addition to using characters as fluid simulation emitters, meshes that are invisible to the camera were used as emission sources in key shots for art directable motion and velocity. Creating all these effects in real time allowed us to achieve a quality and integration that would have not been possible within a standard offline workflow.